Hello, Doug. Thank you for inter letting us interview you. It's a really great pleasure to do that. Thank you so much. Well, we'll see. <laughs> so, first of all, did you ever watch um, the Dapper Laughs show yourself? Did you ever watch an episode of it? No, I've only got to hear about it through the press that's come out of it being cancelled. Mm. Why do you I've seen a little bit of clips. Do you, why do you think it is so controversial? Um, I think we're living in complicated times, and I think some issues have floated to the surface recently that includes that and the other guy who does the course about how to get off with women, what's he called? Thingy? Does anybody know? The other guy who got made to apologise. Julian Blow? Yeah. Oh no, Chad Evans, he's the Yeah, there's something about those two cases that have come to the surface at the same time which makes me feel like something's going on behind the scenes or there's some kind of agenda going on that includes the kind of woman walking through New, New York video that went viral about getting catcalled and Emma Watson's speech. I mean, it just feels like there's a lot that's come up to the surface around the way, that, well, and, you know, Bill Cosby and everything about the way women are treated. I think it's healthy that it's come to the surface. Mm. Do you feel that um, being, being sexist is part of our life now? Do you ever feel there's a place for it? Um, in society? Well I think there's a place for comedy in society and I think that's the complicated thing around freedom of speech and censorship. I mean I don't think what Dapper Laugh's character was doing was funny and a lot of other people don't but some people did because he was performing to you know appreciative crowds and ITV2 did because they commissioned a whole series and were about to commission the second series that made it. Um, <coughs> You know, I mean, if you look at Frankie Boyle or somebody you probably won't have heard of, you lot, Jerry Sadovich, there's a, there's a long tradition of comedians who really push the edge. I mean, even Ali G in the early days was kind of, it was quite edgy. You know, even the sort of, it sounds ridiculous, that even, is it because I is black kind of line is potentially going into tricky waters, isn't it? But I think, you know, something that came out of um, that Three Lions film, which was on paper questionable whether you can make fun of suicide bombers in a film. I think it did it respectfully, and I think that's important. And Chris Morris, if you f are you familiar with Chris Morris's work? Brass Eye Chris Morris, I mean, he did a whole load of stuff about paedophilia and really, really pushed the line. But I think it's obvious that he's a very intelligent, thoughtful, well-meaning bloke doing something satirical in character. I think the problem with Dapper Laughs is it wasn't clear whether it was a character or not. Mm. I, I think maybe that's part of the issue as well. Mm. So there are a lot of controversial topics and um, they have appeared uh, from the 21st century onwards. Did you ever experience any sexism or any problems like that in your childhood or is it a much more quite recent uh, problem would you say? Well, it's recent, that we're, it's recent that we've called it sexism. It, the issues aren't recent. I mean, I can really only talk about things that I know about, like the music industry and the way women have been treated in the music industry is definitely better now than it used to be in the 70s when I was a lad, but... How, how is it? Um, I think there's more examples of strong independent women who are artists who have written their own material, who have, who have been produced well, and I mean I guess, you know, Madonna kind of broke the dam really for that, but back in the 70s it was much more difficult in sort of the pop rock zone, it was all very manufactured and kind of exploitative. You had to look into other areas like folk or something like that to see what a strong independent woman looked like being an artist on their own terms. So I think things are better now, but it's still a long way to go to be great. Mm. One of those advancements that you are talking about it is getting better is of course social media. Uh, do you feel that social media has helped feminism or has it actually hindered it? Has it made it made it worse? Well that's a huge question isn't it? Um, it's a sea of shite. Most of the internet is rubbish. Most social media is a sea of shite as far as I'm concerned. There's very little value in it. But your generation are used to sharing everything. That's what you've got that nobody else ever had. You're, you're the digital generation. You're born into it. I mean, maybe you can remember time before mobile phones or something. Very just vaguely, about. Very so you're like 
the start of something that will never change now? I don't, I don't, I don't know. That's a big question. Gosh, so do you think we're doomed? Are we doomed to this ongoing sexist, racist, awful society where no matter how hard we try, it's still going to be there? Well, racism is a slightly different issue. I mean, racism got legislated in the, in the 70s under the Race Relations Act so that people can't say something racist in public anymore. It's against the law. That doesn't seem to have applied with sexism. Mm. Uh, it certainly doesn't apply with classism. When you can call somebody a chav, which means council house and violent, you know, that's very kind of elitist, mm. classist way of looking at things. So it depends what you mean. I think we're generally floating in the direction of being a bit more conscious and sensitive but it's a long path. Mm. So you are obviously a very conscious and very forward-thinking person, you do want change, so my final question is do you think that you are yourself a feminist? Uh, yeah, I think I am in the sense that I, of course should women get equal pay for doing the same job as a man? Of course they should. Um, should there be the sh same opportunities in life Yes, they should. Are we the same? No, we're not. So it depends how you look at it. I, I don't think men and women are the same. I think we're very, very different. And do you think uh, that will always keep us apart? Well, I think I think we've got a little bit tied our. I think we've tied ourselves in knots a little bit with trying to be the same when we're not the same. That's not the s equality. Isn't the same as, you know. Like a simple version is, women can think about eight things at once. That's why they go crazy. Blokes can only think about two things at once. That's why we're stupid. But blokes are really good at focusing, and women are great at holding the big picture. I mean, you look at directors and producers in the film industry. Directors are mostly blokes. Producers are very often women. You know, there's different. I think it's fine to be different at different things, isn't it? We don't have to be the same. But you should get paid the same if you're doing the same job. I don't know, it's complicated. It always is complicated, <laughs> and it always will be. But you're not, you know, your job is just to find something simple within all of this that symbolises the bigger picture and just use that as a metaphor. So the, the dapper laughs thing is an example of people going, that's, that's enough, that's a bit too far, we're not okay with that. And I think that's probably quite healthy you know, that he gets a slap wrist and other people will think a little bit more about it before they do it next time. I think that's all right.